Um, so next we have um, an associate professor in data visualization, analytics, and big data from the Department of Computer Science. Um, so this is associate professor uh, Bob Lowney. Happy Tuesday, everybody. As the, I would like to just say one uh, quick thank you to the organizers of this event for inviting me here and giving me a chance to introduce myself and speak. Um, I'm coming from the computer science department, which is currently on the Singleton campus, but will hopefully be moving to the Bay campus and that nice new computational foundry building right, right over there, so to speak. And the area that I study is data visualization. Has anybody here heard of data visualization before? So what we do is we try to take large collections of very complicated data and generate computer images of those complicated data sets in order to enhance understanding. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that in this 10 minutes. Okay, we'll go that way then. But before I get into that, I just want to have a 15 second advertisement. We are hosting another event called the Computer Graphics and Visual Computing Conference in September of 2018. There'll be a lot of very talented PhD students there, so if you're looking to recruit talent in visual computing and data visualization, this is a great event to come and get involved in. We're looking for sponsors. Fujitsu would be a perfect sponsor, but they just left. <laughs> okay, so we do have a kind of long history of collaboration with industry, and there's a very good reason for that. So these are some of the people we have collaborated with. AVL, who are experts in automotive design and automotive simulation. We've collaborated them, with them for many years. We've collaborated with another company called Grid Tools. Anybody here heard of Grid Tools? They are experts in software testing. We also have ongoing collaboration with We Predict. I'm sure there are some people here that have heard of We Predict. There could even be somebody from We Predict here. And we have ongoing collaborations with QPC, which we'll talk about. We're going to actually show an example of that right now. And all of these companies, these four companies and all of the companies here have something in common. And that is they are very good at collecting large amounts of complicated data. Right? But the challenge is how do we derive useful information and knowledge from that large collection of complex time-dependent data. This is what everybody's struggling with, and this is the challenge that we are trying to address with data visualization. We want to generate, use computer graphics to generate useful images, summaries, and interact with the data to support decision-making, for example. So some of, the, some of the benefits we enjoy when we work with industry, we, I like to meet new people, right? It's fun, it breaks up the boring daily routine. We like new challenges, so every time we, are, we engage with a company, we're faced with new challenges and a steep new learning curve, right? Because every company has its own vocabulary and, and background. This gives us new opportunities for learning and education. And every time we engage with a new industry, we learn a lot. And it also gives our research new purpose and new impact. Right? When we know what we're doing has a large impact on some massive industry, it's, it's very inspiring. And it's, it's very easy to see the impact. And of course, it brings additional funding opportunities, which we're always looking for. So I just thought I would go over a quick example, rather than talking purely about the theory of one of our industry collaborations. It's with a company called QPC, and QPC are experts at studying call centers and the behavior. 
behavior and activities that transpire inside of call centers. Now that sounds like a very niche area, but if we look a little bit more closely at this area, it's big, right? So I have some data here. There are 3.6 million contact center employees working in 40,000 contact centers in the U.S., representing 4% of the working population. And the figure, the, the representative figure is very similar for the U.K. 4% of the working adults are in a contact center, in a call center, and this number is only increasing. So any improvements that we can make to this aspect of, of the call center experience can have a massive impact. What QPC does is they write software that collects data about all the events that occur inside a call center. Right. Everybody here has enjoyed their experience of picking up the phone and calling one of these call centers for customer service. When all of that data is recorded, right, the, the person who calls, when they called, those different choices they made when they navigate the interactive voice recognition or software, how long they wait to speak to an agent, which agent they spoke to, what the resolution of the call is, and so on. They write software that collects all of that data. Millions of events, right? Millions of events occur every day inside of the call center. However, they struggle with deriving the useful information and the knowledge that they want to derive from those mil millions and millions of numbers. Right? How do you go about doing that? And that's, that, that's the business we're in, right? Deriving useful information and knowledge from millions and billions of numbers. And this is just, an, just a brief introduction. We won't have time to go into detail about that. But how do you visualize millions of phone calls, for example, in a single day? How do you do that, actually? This is one way to do it. It's not the only way. We're, this, is, this is something we're working on continuous, continuously. We were very fortunate to get funding from Innovate UK to start this collaboration, and we're, we continue to be fortunate with funding from KESS to keep it going. But what we're seeing here is the, the volume of phone calls over a single day that occurs in 24 hours, and it's, in the, it's around 250,000 phone calls. So we can get an overview of 250,000 phone calls in a single image. Now this image is divided up into 24 squares. Each square represents one hour of the day. And then inside each square is some sort of map. Well this map, the, the size of that map represents the volume in that hour, right? So we can see right away, for example, when the call center opens, right? During these times, it's closed, and then it opens. And instead of only showing a static image, I thought I would show probably the one and only video demo that we'll see today. We don't want only static images of the data. We want to be able to interact with that that imagery. So we want to start out with an overview, then we want to provide filtering and subset selection techniques, and then we want to be able to drill down inside the overview in order to get more details about what happened, what transpired during the, during the, uh, during the day. And one of QPC's big challenges is just to find out, okay, when do people abandon their calls? Right? When does that happen? Under what circumstances do people decide to hang up before they come to a resolution with their phone calls, for example? Right? And here's our overview. Now, color, in this case, is an indicator of abandoned calls. So the more red the rectangle is, the higher the percentage of abandoned calls. So you can see right away that the percentage of abandoned calls increases as the day progresses. Right? It, it's the most, it's the highest in the evening, 
So that's what people prefer to abandon their calls. On the right, uh, lots of different filtering and subset selection options. So this is an interactive piece of software. We are allowed to filter the calls based on their call link and so on, and many other different attributes. A copy of this demo video is on YouTube. Right? And you can find out all about the different projects we work on on the DataViz YouTube channel. Right? So if you're interested in finding out more about the different projects we work on, check it out. Also, if you're in the industry and you're looking for solutions to your data problems, just let us know. I will be around during the break and I'll be able to answer questions and all those things. Thank you. I never realised how uh, call centres were that fascinating. <laughs> I think I might be interested in having a look at your YouTube video. Uh, um, so, um, moving on, um, our next speaker leads the commercial business activities for Yeah, yeah, yeah. 